We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, with... shit! I'm in our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane! All right, I'm coming. For my boat! All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. Hey, I'll help you out. Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in the bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. Oh! There! There! There it is! That's my boat! Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way of doing things. Oh, fuck this. Shop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fit. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I, I fucked up, okay? 
I'm not going to lie, that was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died, and all you give a shit about is this fucking boat! No, it's not that, it's... All we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that. That's how you drive, right? But all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, do you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? Sure thing, man. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you, uh, do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name Howe. He gonna look after him. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man, let's trick this whip, homie! Recondition. Sweet. I'm gonna take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. Or the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I... I... No, I, I mean... Sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like... Jizzle? <laughs> nah, man. I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership, and someone steals my whip, and Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your Pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. Man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we could together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do something. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah, not since the first couple. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean... I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace.
the producer does not drive himself to the premiere, come on! A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. The Oriental Theater. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. I... Thanks, Antonio. Hey. Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Mel... What's happening? Where's Mom? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay, they'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. If he's done anything to hurt her. Oh, shit. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. You got his... Daddy's home, you prick! Oh, ah! ah! What if I'm sitting with Tracy? We gotta get in there, Michael! He's in there with our girl! Mom, Dad! Stop oh, it! Come on, do something! Help me! Ah! What if I'm sitting with Tracy? We gotta get in there, Michael! He's in there with our girl! Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Please. Clear the house! All occupants! Ah. Jesus! What the hell? Got you, you dick. Oh, 
Uh, oh, you all right? <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> oh. Oh. Get the oh. fuck off me! Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy! Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting the roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? At a signing? What are you signing? A patent petition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I was signing autographs at the expo. You wanna know? You found this prick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girls are so lovely with their very their very own stuff. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. You should have told me you were in one of those moods. How you like that? That's so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something bad. Yeah, one. Well We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. He never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. <laughs>